it's time for Orchard CMS. Back in late 2014, Microsoft laid the foundation for an open source cross-platform .NET. This platform today is known as .NET Core. In November of 2015, Microsoft also released Visual Studio Code, an open source cross-platform code editor. With almost five years of investment with the open source community, Visual Studio Code is now one of the most popular code editors. In fact, Facebook announced moving to Visual Studio Code in November 2019. With the importance of cross-platform development, it's essential for today's developers to know how to develop cross-platform Orchard Core applications. So let's get started by creating an Orchard Core CMS web application on Linux with Visual Studio Code. <music> Welcome back to Orchard CMS. So let's get started by creating an Orchard Core CMS web application on Linux with Visual Studio Code. Okay, let's browse to code.visualstudio.com slash downloads. And you'll notice that there's a Debian distribution. So let's go ahead and click on that. And save it. Okay, so let's go ahead to our command terminal. Okay, let's switch to the download directory. Okay, let's go ahead and install the Visual Studio Debian package. And there we go, Visual Studio is installed. Now let's browse to the documentation on how to install .NET Core on Debian. And you can see here that it gives you detailed instructions how to install .NET Core, ASP.NET, the SDK on Debian. Before we can install a Debian package for .NET Core, we need to set up the Linux software repository for Microsoft and register the Microsoft key and feed. So to do that, we have to run several commands. The first command is a wget. Switch back to the terminal. There we go. The next command is a sudo move. The next command is a wget. The next command is another move command. The next command is to do a pseudo crown. And the last command to do another pseudo crown. And now let's go ahead with that a pseudo app get update. And then we can do a pseudo app get install. Then we have to do another pseudo app get update. And then we can install the .NET SDK 3.0. There we go. We have .NET Core 3.0 installed on Debian Linux. Now the next thing we want to do is install the Orchard Core code generation templates. And to do that, And that's it. Now the next thing we want to do is install the Orchard Core code generation templates. We want to make sure that we've got our NuGet source to the latest dev branch in Orchard Core. And in order to do that, we have to use a command for that, a .NET new, but it specifies the Orchard preview 
NuGet fade. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Now we're pointing at the latest NuGet packages from Orchard Core. So now I want to switch to my project folder. Mine is located at Documents GitHub. So let's go ahead and do that. So now, since I'm in the project folder, I want to go ahead and create a directory named my Orchard Core CMS. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's CD inside the directory. Now let's run the Orchard Core template. And there we go, all our code is generated. So the next thing we want to do is bring up Visual Studio Code. That's the way to do that is to code dot. There we go, there's Visual Studio Code. First thing we want to do is install the Visual Studio Code C Sharp extension. So let's hit the extension icon and let's select Visual Studio Code. And let's go ahead and install. There we go. That quick and easy. So now let's go ahead and create a NuGet.config file. To do that, we click on the folder, hit the plus new file icon, specify NuGet.config, enter, now let's copy in the XML file to specify where the NuGet are located. And there you go. Your NuGet config is all set up. So now what we want to do is go ahead and run the application. And all we do for that is we click on the little debug icon and it will prompt you to further configure debug and run. Click on create a launch.json file. So let's go ahead and do that. Now it gives you an option and what we want to do is select .NET Core. And that's all that's to it. We have everything all configured and ready to run our Orchard Core CMS web application. Let's go ahead and hit the green triangle. And now our application is building. And there you go. Let's go over and switch over to the browser. And localhost 5000. And there you go. Orchard Core CMS is running. Let's go ahead and enter our site name. Let's go ahead and select the blog recipe. Let's go ahead and set our, let's see, our time zone. Let's go ahead and use SQLite. And let's use admin. And let's enter our credentials. And let's hit the finish setup. And there you go. There's our ASP.NET Orchard Core application. Now let's go to the dashboard by selecting admin. Let's enter our credentials. And there you go. There's the dashboard. We can go ahead and enter our content and do all the wonderful things with Orchard Core. Now, if you missed or didn't understand anything, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All of the information is in the video description. If you liked the video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.